everybody. Let's welcome Brooks Kepka, the captain of Smash GC and our solo clubhouse leader at 12 under. You shot seven under today. You have been par or better for the last 22 holes. Tell us a little bit about your round. Uh, yeah, played really good. Uh, ball striking is finally starting to come around. Uh, the putter's heating up a little bit. I think that's just due to seeing some better golf shots. Um, just kind of finding my own little swagger. But uh, yeah, pleased with the way I've played so far and just need to go another good round. You told us earlier in the week that you couldn't find the hole, but I felt like every time I looked up at the TV today, your ball was finding the hole. Uh, did you do something different this week or like you, it's just a matter of you setting I think, momentum? I, I think it just comes from ball striking personally. That's kind of how, how it's always worked for me. If I, if I feel good striking it, you know, you have a few more opportunities, a few more, uh, I guess, better looks. Instead of being 30 feet, you might be 15, which uh, ups your chances tremendously. And, um, yeah, I think that's that plays a huge part, to be honest with you. Obviously, we had massive rain delays today. You guys were kind of stuck here just waiting, waiting, waiting. Obviously, it didn't seem to impact you too negatively, but what did you do during that downtime? I just chilled. Uh, we were all talking watching some of the uh, some of the hockey, some of the basketball. Um, that's, what, that's what I would do anyways if I wasn't uh, if I was having some chill time anyway. So uh, it just worked out, and it was kind of nice to watch some of that. And did you have to change your strategy at all, knowing that the course conditions would be a little bit different? No, just go about it, and you kind of feel it out the first couple holes and then go from there and see where uh, see where things are at. And by three or four holes, you kind of got an idea how, how it's playing. And last question for me, we've all seen that Brooks swagger, that determination when you're turned on and, you know, we know that you're determined to win. Is it something different that you feel inside? Because it really comes across as like this, like very determined swagger. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that put a lot of time and effort into making sure that, that I play good. Um, you know, I think Augusta was a good wake-up call. I've had to really grind in since then. And, um, you know, it'll be nice to see my – hopefully uh, my son hasn't seen me finish better than about 45th. I was reminded of that on the way over here uh, to Adelaide. So um, hopefully get a little better result. You got hopefully he and your birthday is the good luck charm this week. Thanks. Kick it over to Mike. Bro Brooks, so the uh, two times last year when you won, you were leading by three going into the final round, I think, each time. Do you kind of feel like with a, with a three-shot lead, it's it seems like it's pretty tough to, to catch you at this point? I mean, anything's possible. Um, Coach is trailing. He plays this place pretty well. Um, look, I just got to go out and go do, do what I do. And then from there, um, you know, you, you can get beat. Um, I have no problem with that if I get beat, but I just want to go out and go play good golf, and that's really all I want to do, especially leading in the PGA. And then I wanted to ask you about your second shot at four, um, kind of splitting through the palm trees. Uh, was there any hesitation at all, or is that is that just what your the confidence level is right now? No, uh, it's a bigger gap than probably people think. Um, I th I had to start it well right of the flag to hit the tree or basically on the left side of the, almost the left side of the green to hit the tree. So I felt pretty confident I could start at somewhat on the green. Um, yeah, I, I, it's always a bigger gap than it looks. And then one last question from me. I don't know how the groupings are for tomorrow, but Matthew's tied for second. Is that any kind of interesting maybe side plot going into tomorrow, obviously with the, the changes in the roster? You weren't paying attention last week because I played with him. But not for the lead, right? Yeah, look, I have no problem with that. Um, we just didn't, didn't gel, see eye to eye on on how on how things were, um, or how I, I thought they should be. I, I've always liked him as a person. I thought he's, a, I think he's a great kid. I've said that to to a bunch of people, even behind closed doors during all, during everything last year. Um, it was a good thing for for him to leave the team and, and go to go to the Range Goats and. It was a good thing for our team. Um, so, look, he's fine. He's, he seems to be playing better in a better headspace, better form, better everything. So, um, look, I don't have any ill will towards him at all. Okay, thanks. Go ahead. Brooks, um, how hard is it to flip the switch in your head? So, obviously, you know, you wake up this morning, you're expecting to play at a certain point. 
then you've got the delay. Does that, uh, does that take some training or do you just not much of an issue with it? No, there's no issue with it. I think it's, it's just, I mean, what, what do we have to wait? Four hours, five hours? It is what it is. You find things to pass time and, and just, we're just sitting at the table watching a little bit of basketball, hockey, like I said. So um, time goes by pretty quick. And uh, who are your teams? For the hockey, my team is taking a nice little rest, the piece. Um, so um, I'll be more interested tomorrow to see how uh, the Leafs, how the Leafs do, and the, and the Bruins. So we'll find out who we're playing. And the Heat are already knocked out, so they're well going to be. Okay, one more over there. Hi, Brooks. Uh, so you said your son hasn't seen you finish, you know, better than 45th. So. You know, is he with you in Singapore, and does he travel with you for tournaments? And you know, is he sort of like a good luck charm for this week? Oh, uh, well, he hasn't been a good luck charm so far, I guess. <laughs> um, well, I think it's more of me than it is him. But yeah, um, my boys reminded me of that pretty, uh, pretty quickly on the way to Adelaide. That uh, knowing that he was coming here to Singapore, but um, it's great to have him out. Like I enjoy it. I enjoy being able to get back to the room and and see him for a little bit. And um, yesterday, I only saw him for. <laughs> Uh, other than dinner, I only saw him for about 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, I just want to get back to the room and hang with him. Hopefully he's up and not napping. Right, and uh, you're peaking at the right time, you know, especially with the PGA Championship coming up. So, you know, uh, is it the, you know, the confidence that, w that will bring you into the tournament and defending your title? Yeah, I mean, I guess I've, I've gone back to back at the uh, PGA and the U.S. Open. Um, Hopefully looking to do it again. I don't know if it's ever been done, but that would be kind of a cool cool thing. I've, I've tried the three-peat, not very good at it out here um, and at the majors. But, uh, look, the whole goal. I think the embarrassment of Augusta kind of really kicked things into overdrive for me and really having to um, put my nose down and, and grind it out a little bit harder and, um, you know, having to look my team in the eye and apologize. So um, I'm not looking to do that again. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Brooks, and good luck tomorrow.